Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years. Hi, I'm Cherry Johnson with Watauga County Arts Council, and today with me I have someone that you've met before. I don't know if you recall, but uh, Rainy Rogers is a, a woman of all trades. I'm not going to say a <laughs> jack of all trades. You're a Jill That's of all okay, trades. That's okay. I'll take that too. It doesn't matter. <laughs> She's a, 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 all artistic traits. A woman traits, of all traits. I should say, yes. <laughs> of artistic traits. Yes. <laughs> this is good. Mm. For, the first example is what you see surrounding us, which is some of Rady's art. Uh, just a taste of Rady's art. Yes. You it have is very just a diverse taste. art, a lot of it. I do, uh -huh. I do. Uh, variety and subject matter is um, is kind of one of the, what I've known mm -hmm. for, which is which is hard for people to kind of like pigeonhole right. or, or to But you do nothing drab or, or dark. No, why it's why all do colorful why would I do bright. drab or dark? Well <laughs> that I'm just, just wouldn't noticing be fun. The, the similarity <laughs> between your pieces because you know when you look for similarity between Rainey's pieces, you kinda have to think about Something besides subject matter. Yes, that's true. That's yeah. true. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I have. I paint many different subjects, and um, and I do like color a whole you lot. Do. I, mm -hmm. I I utilize mm -hmm. color too as much as I can, and um, and it just makes it more interesting and more right. fun to mm -hmm. to paint. And um, so so it's I have botanicals, nauticals, landscapes. I do portraits of people and pets, and um, just do uh, all kinds of things. And mm -hmm. a wildlife. I became known as a wildlife right. painter, and um, so I even put a lot of color. In my wildlife paintings, which which a lot of wildlife which paintings you're a member great, yeah. of the wildlife uh, what is North it? Carolina Wildlife uh, mm -hmm. Association you right. know, society, mm -hmm. um, which is a great uh, group of people who are um, like out there to support a wildlife and and actually education about wildlife and mm -hmm. yes and, and the environment and it's it's really important that we pay attention to that kind of thing now, now you too. Know, Rainey, I've known you a little while and 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 we've been really enjoyed knowing each other. All this we time. have. <laughs> we've had fun. I think we have a mutual admiration <laughs> thing going. Yeah. And she does things like uh, workshops. She does lots of workshops for us. We might talk about that in a second. Uh, she teaches uh, a variety of different uh, mediums and mm -hmm. ways to do things. Mm -hmm. You also own a gallery. Yes. You also do television shows of your own. Yes. You also paint, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be the main thing. So the core question is, start at the beginning. When did you start doing all, when did you start painting? When did you, how did oh this my, begin? Oh, my, oh, my. Well, I, I, th I think it just kind of, the painting just, uh, it, it was just innate. Um, you know, I just started drawing on things. Even I can remember in first grade, uh, I'd finish my work and they'd give me you drew on the, the inside of the, womb, of the, right? of the <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and outside the box, they they would give me a part of the blackboard and say, "Okay, you can you can draw here," and you know uh -huh. that's what I did. But I just remember constantly always wanting to draw. Mm -hmm. At the age of nine, I did a copy of Fra of Fragenard, Girl Reading a Book. I was talking about that yesterday with somebody at the, at the gallery. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? You see, that's an, that's another another mutuality there we have. Uh, but anyway, so you know, I just love to. I don't. I don't know. I think it's just an affliction that gets stronger and stronger and stronger mm -hmm. until you realize, okay, this, this is this is what I have to do, and so you just so sort of go. It's with an it. eight. You succumb to it. Now, yeah. well, do you have an artistic family? Um, n not particularly. Uh, um, not particularly at all. I, th I have an aunt that, uh, or maybe a great aunt that did some painting, mm -hmm. you know, Sunday afternoon painter kind right. of thing. But, but not, not like a big No, my family. sister is very talented, uh -huh. and my daughter is incredibly talented, but really? she would never take on the life of an artist because she has seen firsthand what it does. <laughs> it's like I will never be an English she teacher. <laughs> My mother was an English teacher. It's like the English art. My the English parents art. were English teachers. <laughs> were they really? My sister is an English teacher too. So there's a lot of English, a lot of grammar, a lot of that kind of stuff going around. So with the art, you can just do anything, and it's and it's okay. It's, yes, it's, it it's, is. It's all, uh -huh. it's all good. You can't you can't do anything wrong with art, mm -hmm. and I guess that's why I went for it too. <laughs> Now, did Who's you, to judge? Did you pursue a lot of schooling in, in uh, the arts? Well, I'm, I majored in art at East mm -hmm. Carolina mm -hmm. um, and studio art uh, mm -hmm. painting. And um, then I actually uh, taught for mm -hmm. uh, uh, K through 6 for about four or five years. I don't even remember, but I was always so tired by the time I got home that I never actually Didn't got to, to my easel. Do it. Yes. I was just mm -hmm. exhausted. Between mm -hmm. that and getting sick, you know, with all the kids and the colds and stuff. Yes. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was an experience that, and, and, you know, I'm glad I had it and I had to Been put that, that aside. Same, you and I have an awful lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Been there, done that too. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. 
so anyway, I, yeah, I chose the lonely life of an, art, of an artist, and so, um, so you have to kind of create whatever activity or, or excitement is, well, is going to go on in your some life. Some artists and, are introverts, but you are definitely not an introvert. You don't think? No. Oh, so I think maybe you have to create your own <laughs> excitement, and, and so that's what you've done. Well, life you know? to me, mm -hmm. life really is a stage. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it is for all of us. We we write our stories, right. and either your story can be fun and exciting, mm -hmm. or it can be woe is me, um, or you can like delve into the world of art, which is like probably for me the most exciting thing right. because um, you never know how a painting is going to turn out. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's and I live painting to painting, and it's all very right. exciting. And then when someone actually buys your work, it just makes you want to go and do a whole lot more really yeah. quickly. So um, and, and I love a, it. It's I the ultimate it. compliment when they want to live with your. Work. It is. It is when mm -hmm. they start reaching for the mm -hmm. wallet. It's like, gosh, I did something right. <laughs> And, it's, and then you can pay your bills, and you right. can keep doing it, and like, yeah. and so Buy it just paint. keeps going. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Buy Canvas at Cheap Joe's, which is what I'm going to do. And Cheap Joe's is a very big sponsor of my of my show. Well, so and they I also sponsor your exhibit. Cheap Joe's uh -huh. is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, yeah, Cheap, Cheap Joe. What a way to be known. But Joe is an incredible, incredible. Oh, he thinks person. it's fun. Yeah, he, I know. <laughs> Now that's somebody who's a real introvert. I'm worried. I'm yeah, worried. I've yeah. been worried you about know, him for a while. That's a lot. Yeah, you and Joe both are, are quite inverted. <laughs> oh well, what uh -huh. you gonna do? <laughs> the uh, what we're going on that is Janie. Uh, Janie Rainey has an exhibit at the Open Door Gallery at the Blue, uh, Blue Ridge Art Space for the month of December, and you just got to come see it. It is absolutely fabulous. Uh, there's a Christmas tree in the middle of the room, and she did not paint the Christmas tree. No, uh, yet. <laughs> it's, it's, an, it's like an interactive exhibit. You have to kind of go around the tree to see the other pieces of art. Right. So, and because we had our holiday originals already in that room, then we moved out the art into uh, the, the holiday originals part into other rooms and kind of expanded that. So it's not gone away. It's just relocated in the building because we wanted to showcase Rainey's work in that room, and it works very well. That it does. Good it does. You. All the uh -huh. color really mm -hmm. just kind of speaks out, even though you do have to go around a beautiful, beautiful tree. Um, it's it's a great space, and it's it's a good place to go, and mm -hmm. I just see a variety of my work, right. and um, so and, and and I'd love for you to come. It's it, I'll be there from seven thirty. What is it? Five thirty to seven thirty. I'll be there on at the seven thirty. I'll come at five thirty. This afterwards, so yeah. you missed the party. Oh, okay, you missed it. Oh my! <laughs> but there's one every. But month. you can still come. Yes. But you can still come mm -hmm. until January sixth. So that's right. Get a Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. It's make a wonderful Christmas gift. And yeah. if you want to actually interact with Randy herself, you might go out to the Akron Gallery. Yes, you can call. Mm -hmm. I am open by appointment. So mm -hmm. yes, you can call and and uh, warn me that you're coming, and I'll decide if I'm going to be there. <laughs> Just kidding. I, I love to, to meet new people all the time. And, and I'm always interested in telling them about my work. You also have more opportunities to get to know Rainey on a more personal level because she's teaching workshops with us. Uh, wonderful, fun workshops. Uh, the one she's done so far, it's like I'm in my office, which is the next room down. <laughs> And it's the most interesting conversations and fun and laughing and great. And you're like, are these people getting anything accomplished? And you go in and there's all these great stuff going on. Uh, well, that, re that reminds me of one time I was substitute teaching and, uh, and for a class. And there was so much noise going on in the classroom that I was reported by the teacher next door. And then when the principal came to check on things, there were all the kids around me. And mm -hmm. we had done self-portraits. Uh, and so I was showing everybody the portraits that all the other kids had done. And they were guessing who it was. And he was like... Wow. So I was, everything was under control, but it sounded like it was just really It was just more fun wild. than the teacher next door was having. That was what the I problem was. I think so. Was. She was probably having a test or something. <laughs> Oh, now, dear. back to your paintings. When you start a painting, do you already know what you're going to do? How, how, what's the process? I generally have an idea of what I'm going to mm -hmm. do, and mm -hmm. then I never know how it's going to turn out. Mm -hmm. So I, I kind of sketch it, do my little value sketches mm -hmm. and whatnot, and then and then just start painting. Um, and you never know, especially with watercolor. It could turn out any number of ways. Sometimes a piece that I intend to be representational will actually end up abstract. Right. And, um, and I do love to do abstract things in between the, mm -hmm. the representational ones because it really lets that's, that's the creative process, right. just sort of mm -hmm. evolve, which is always fun. Mm -hmm. And it's such a surprise, too. Um, sometimes it's a bad surprise, and sometimes it's a good surprise. Well, there's <laughs> always just so you can start over. Or there's always a fire pit somewhere. <laughs> you can just kind of toss it away, in, which is very empowering, too. It is. Burn it your is. painting. <laughs> And also, now you do acrylic as well as, do you do oil? I do oils, uh -huh. acrylics, pastels, mm -hmm. watercolor, um, and I'm getting into a little bit of mixed media. Mm -hmm. So, um, but, but 
you know, you won't st you shouldn't stop growing as right. an artist until you know you're you're done. Mm -hmm. You're just you're just out of here. So um, so there's always new stuff and always new um, materials to right. use that, that mm -hmm. are, people are coming up with. So well, and artists like the diversity of that. I think yeah, in general, most well, of them. And, yeah, mm -hmm. an artist. I think you know you, sh you need to be inquisitive constantly mm -hmm. and, and curious about everything and you know it just mm -hmm. which is why you know so a lot of artists will take just put their hands in the dirt and put the sand around and have a yeah. texture mm -hmm. that they like mm -hmm. or whatever so that's why I like art is just there are no <laughs> there's no way to be wrong really <laughs> now I was teasing her on the radio a while ago about uh, painting upside down and there's a really good reason that you yes. paint upside down yes because talk, talk to me about well that. let's the blood flow to the head <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Well, no, it's a whole right brain, left brain connection. Um, you, your drawing is on the right side of the brain, mm -hmm. and uh, and the left brain is you just can get so caught up into exactly what it is you're drawing yeah. that that you you become you end up start recording what your brain knows that thing to be regardless if, of what it's really looking like regardless mm -hmm. and so but if you turn you say a photograph or or uh, something upside down a uh, subject matter usually usually photographs um then you you're not looking at the the what it is you're you're interpreting more the shape and and mm -hmm. the color mm -hmm. and 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 the value and and it just makes the the right side of the right. brain just really start assimilating things and the left side's going what what huh huh what you know leave, he left me out and which is good mm -hmm. uh, you know leave that to the mathematicians right. and mm -hmm. um, so it's so it's very good and it's good for anybody um, it's a great way to get you know an engineer anybody who is just totally left brain um, op, uh, 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 operates on left a uh, left brain then uh, just totally confuses them and. Right. and it's good. It shakes mm -hmm. them up, mm -hmm. and when they and when they flip it around, they go, "Oh wow, I had no idea." So I love right. that aha moment. And the third episode of my show, we do that, and I just love it because even even the videographers said, "I've seen this before," but every time it always just surprises <laughs> me that and that's what it is. And speaking of our show, I don't think we've mentioned that uh, you have painting with rainy, painting with rainy, which yeah. is a series in essence. It is a series, uh -huh. and, and we're still mm -hmm. working on thirteen episodes for PBS because uh, I need um, a, a quarter of a season, and um, and it's a lot of fun. And mm -hmm. it's you know it's a lot of work, but um, it's just seems like a perfect fit for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just that upside down thing is just such uh -huh. fun in particular. But I do other ways too. So. Right, right. But but that's kind of a, a unique approach. I think some people hadn't thought of. I trying, think it's sort of so. become mm -hmm. my sort of what I'm known mm -hmm. known for, mm -hmm. and, and and that's okay too yeah. because it really just shakes anybody loose, and and it makes anybody. Um, and to an artist, really. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's what you do with your workshops. Is you you yeah. basically take a lot of folks who haven't got any experience at all. I do, I do. And you kind of turn them into beginning artists. I do, they, they, I do. Yeah. Well, there's nobody that leaves one of my workshops that hasn't hasn't learned something. Right. And that hasn't changed some some aspect of, of what they think about life, you know, gets altered. Well, um, so so far, nobody's left one of your workshops saying they didn't have fun. <laughs> well, that's good, too, because, yeah, life is about joy. It really it is. is. It's about the joy. <laughs> now, I'm getting ready to release a list of workshops for the spring series, and Rainy is definitely on that list, and there are several that she's offering this spring, uh -huh. uh, which you would li really want to be part of. And yes. then we're also doing some parties, which we haven't officially named our parties yet. No. And uh, we're going to have uh, a variety of topics going on with that, and Rainy's part of the fun in that as well. Rainy it's part of the fun just about everywhere you turn. I like to have fun. Fun is good. <laughs> Jeez, I never would have guessed. <laughs> I know. I well, being the introvert that I am. Oh, gosh. But, but I do hope you will come by and enjoy her work. It is really worth your trip just to come by. And when you come by, you'll also have the opportunity to enjoy some other work that's done by a lot of other wonderful artists. The Holiday Originals, we held it over uh, by popular demand, quite literally. And so folks are still coming in and choosing very nice gifts and variety of things from that uh, selection. And, of course, if you want to do something with a Christmas ornament, you got to go in the room where Grady's work is. Oh, and then right. you, you may not leave for a while. That's right. So. No, please, look around. Do look around. <laughs> around the tree. <laughs> look around the tree, around the work. There's, there's yeah. a lot going on. But it's so much fun. We do hope you'll come and be a part of all the things that are going on at the Blue Ridge Art Space. It's always something new and different happening. Uh, works really well for those of the kind of ADHD, you know, because there's new and exciting stuff. Well, this is what I have been described uh -huh. as an ADHD artist, really. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. you know, if I do all these subject matter, I just get bored. And so, you yeah. know, I identify. What Come you by. do is you capitalize on it. <laughs> 
That's right. That's the point. That's what you got to do if you have a flaw. Capitalize Speaking on it. Speaking of which, capitalizing on things, you're teaching one on marketing art. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's more than just how to paint or how whatever. It is whatever. more than how to paint. Uh -huh. it's, it's how to get it out there. Mm -hmm. And 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 you really you really do have to work it. The, these days, it's you can't just sit back and well, expect people to You're really a good example of that because you've got a lot of different venues that you're using I to do, yeah. promote your art and promote art in general. Yeah. You know. uh, yeah. Uh -huh. I, I, I learned it as slow and steady, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but it is very important. And uh, thank you. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Um, but you just got to now. It, you, people's attention spans are, are so short. Right. Uh, you just really got to just keep offering something different and, mm -hmm. and keep your name out there. So. So if you're an artist that is looking for some tips and ideas, uh, she's going to be coming up with this workshop very shortly. Mm -hmm. So watch our series and make sure that you get signed up for it. We have something called an online store that you. It's on Facebook and also on our website that you'll be able to sign up for workshops through that. Okay. So uh, there'll be an easy way to do it, or you can just come in and we'll sign you up then. So. Sounds good. All right. Y'all come. Y'all come and check out Rainy and Rainy's yeah, work. Yeah, check me out. I'll check you out too. <laughs> and just check out the arts because you want to be part of all that's going on in the arts. Mm, yes. Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years.